Hi there, Leo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of um, February 26th through to March 3rd. I went ahead, shuffle of cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Leo. Three of Swords reversed, followed then by the Six of Pentacles upright. Four of Wands upright, followed then by the Four of Swords reversed. And lastly, we have the Nine of Pentacles in the upright position. Three of Swords reversed is your overall energy this week, Leo. Three of Swords in the upright can point to um, anything from sadness, sorrow, loss, disappointment, um, hurt feelings due to arguments. Anything can happen when the Three of Swords shows up in the upright position. However, in the reverse position, this can point to healing from a situation like that. But remember, in the story of the tarot, this points back to the Two of Swords upright, which is a card of indecision. Because once we've been disappointed, let down, or gone through um, a breakup or something like that, it could be even if that situation gets, you know, smoothed over. Uh, it could put us in a situation where we're just not sure if we want to trust the person again or really anyone again. Sometimes it can just simply represent something like maybe the Three of Swords for some of you was due to the loss of a pet. And uh, you went through such heartbreak when you, you know, the pet passed away or you lost the pet. And now you're healing from it, but do I want to go and get another pet, put myself in a situation where I could be in the Three of Swords again? I... It, I, I use that analogy a lot because I feel that way. I've had several pets over the years and each time it's like, I never want to go through this again. So it could be something like that. Let us know in the comment section below if this resonates for you. Right at the beginning of the week, you have the, the six of pentacles in the upright position pointing to equal work for equal pay. This is a very uh, balanced um, energy. It is a six. It's very balanced. It represents generosity. It could be generosity of spirit. It could be representing um, generosity in all kinds of ways. Like maybe, for example, you need to go away and you, you want somebody who can look after your cat while you're gone or uh, bring in your mail or do something like that. And it could be that um, all you have to do is ask. And, you know, this is the yes card. So, Good news, uh, sometimes it can go both ways. Maybe somebody needs you to do some favors for them. This can also represent uh, good news if you need to go to the bank to get a mortgage, um, a car loan or something like that, or even a consolidation loan. Could be the chances are a good in your favor. Um, equal work for equal pay for those of you who are freelancing. It could be that you land some uh, particular kind of job and um, they're paying you quite well. Next card up is one of the best cards in the Minor Arcana. The beautiful Four of Wands in the upright position. This represents a completion of something that you have been working on. It started off as the Ace of Wands, the initial um, excitement, the in initial uh, even sometimes Ace of Wands can represent like a brand, a brand new passionate relationship that was now built into something, you know, the Four of Wands can be moving in together officially. This uh, relationship is now on solid footing. Could be we're moving in together. Could be we're uh, getting married. We're celebrating an engagement party, that kind of thing. It's an official milestone of something. For others of you, this could be a project that you've been working on either at work or at home or something like that. And you are finally uh, got to that completion point. It feels good to be at the Four of Wands. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. After all, look at all that yellow, the solar plexus activation, because we feel confident when we accomplish something. So something is being accomplished this week. And I think for you, you couldn't be happier about it. Could be anything from a renovation to a home that uh, maybe you purchase land and you're building a home on it and that's completed whatever is going on here time for the housewarming party pretty soon so great energy moving on towards the weekend we have the four of swords in the reverse position which, which can point back to the three of swords up right you have the three of swords here but it's now also reversed a lot of healing going on four of swords in the upright can be a bit of a respite where we need to rest for several reasons it could be because of an operation it could be um recuperation after you know like a surgery or something like that it could also be recuperation after a bad time sore loss a breakup 
step, something like that. Whatever it is, we're putting ourselves in time out for some reason. It could be exhaustion, depression, all kinds of things. But when the card is inverted, this is where we're finally ready to spring back into action. And I think it has a lot to do with this Four of Wands. Right? Because in the Four of Wands, we've completed something. Maybe you're getting the message or getting the news early on in the week that this project is now completed. But once we complete a project, what happens? Now we feel motivated to get either another one started or to continue on our journey. So it's, it's beautiful energy and it makes a lot of sense. It's a return to action for Leo at the end of the week. <laughs> Last card you have, more yellow here. Beautiful. Nine of Pentacles. So this is the strong, independent person energy. This is where somebody is feeling very independent. It can also represent um, perhaps some of you uh, doing well financially. You're finally at that position where you're making good money. Remember, the Six of Pentacles was there. You could be making good money finally uh, feeling strong and independent. There's a bit of an independent streak that comes with the Nine of Pentacles. I always just little warning there to try and not um, push people away if they want to assist you or something like that. And you kind of do need their assistance. Let them in because sometimes the Nine of Pentacles can be a little bit aloof where it's just like, no, I'm good. I'm good. You can stay over there. <laughs> But uh, beautiful, beautiful energy. The Nine of Pentacles wants for nothing. They know that they can, you know, stand their ground and, and be on solid footing here. It looks like a really good solid week for you, uh, Leo. Glad to see it. Thank you so much for joining me. I want to remind you all of the live podcast that takes place on this channel every weekend. Just check back at the channel for uh, dates and times. So I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next week. Take care. Much love. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye for now.